documentary is called Redefining History, and it doesn't just focus on the days of the massacre, but also on what happened afterward. Beautiful. This was taken in 1910 in Atlanta, Georgia. History. Isn't that gorgeous? Helps put the pieces together. We're here today to honor and celebrate and elevate his memory. The memory of Alex Wesley Walker, a survivor of the Atlanta race massacre. But to Pat Bearden, he's a grandfather. Papa didn't take no mess. And I want people to realize that our people fought back as best they could. It was September 22, 1906, when mobs of thousands of white Americans killed at least 25 black people in Atlanta. Their hatred rooted in a false report of black men raping white women. Bearden and her sister Yolanda Simmons remind us that Alex didn't back down. He got his gun, defended his family, and even spent some time behind bars. This changed the trajectory of his life. Alex's story is one of the many Darren Sims tried to tell in a new way. This documentary is years in the making because of uh, research, um, because of collaboration, partnership, identifying descendants. Sim says new technology helped make this storytelling possible. The stories of Walter White and the stories of the victims in the unmarked graves whose pages are still unwritten. Bearden wants the next generation to know the truth as we redefine history. I want them to think about their own stories. I want them to see what our people went through and be proud of their people and that all our stories matter. The film also digs into how political leaders played a part in efforts to disempower the black vote. Though there are still chunks of the story missing. We have to continue to tell the story um, and honestly until we uncover every piece of it. You have a chance to watch the documentary this Sunday on WABE. It also streams on Monday on YouTube and it runs about 30 minutes.